Here's the deal. If you're like kind of brand new to the real estate world, a lot of people will just get on YouTube and start learning and the teachers will teach. You have to wholesale first and then you have to get into fix and flip. And they're like, that's just the way that you have to do it. And I don't agree. Wholesaling is more of a high paid job. So somebody that is in a nine to five that likes their nine to five and they make a decent mm -hmm. amount of money in their nine to five, wholesaling might not be the best route for them unless they are trying to replace that nine to five job that they have with an even higher paid nine to five job. Then it makes sense to do that. But if somebody's like, listen, I just want to have this nine to five job where I'm making a decent amount of money, where my lifestyle is pretty good and then invest in real estate and then passively along the line, like eventually once I'm ready to retire in 10, 15 years or something like that, have cash flow and assets and stuff that provide for me. Wholesaling really isn't the way to do that. Building a portfolio and getting into like flips and more of the like actually buying of houses, usually the best way to do that. Wholesaling is more of just like an entry to that. And it's a great way to start. Like for me, that's where I started. I started wholesaling and then eventually that wholesaling business allowed me to one, provide for myself, right? As far as, you know, money and living expenses go. But then it also provided relationships, provided resources, money, deals and stuff like that for me to invest in. And then I started buying fix and flips and we have a couple of rentals and stuff like that. And that's what allowed me to do that. But it took all my time and energy, like I wasn't working a nine to five at all, it took all my time and energy to build the wholesaling business to then have those opportunities. Really, if you have like a solid job and you have solid income and money really isn't a thing and it doesn't really matter too, too much for you and you enjoy the lifestyle that you're living right now, wholesaling is going to like pull you out of that lifestyle so that you spend all your time and energy on building this beast. And then you start doing all these things. But what you could really do is you can skip building the wholesaling business by just connecting with people and doing flips and finally making those flips being rentals and something. You see what I mean? So like really all wholesaling is, is a high paid job. If you're in a nine to five, all that it's going to do is it's going to take you out of that nine to five and probably give you a lot more money. And then it's also going to give you a lot more resources and stuff like that. But a lot of people don't care about that. A lot of people just want to passively invest. And if that's what they want to do, then building a wholesaling business probably isn't for them. Building a portfolio and building connections with people that can get you to that portfolio is usually a better route to go. You see what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Because dude, it's simple. Like wholesaling is very simple, right? It's like, hey, I go out and I market to a bunch of people that could potentially want to sell their property. Somebody raises their hand and says, hey, yeah, I want to sell my house. And then you get them under contract and then you take that contract and you simply just find somebody who would want that contract and they pay you a fee for it. And you just rinse and repeat and you build a system and process around doing, build a whole team around it. And it's very simple when you break it down like that, but it is hard. Like I'm not going to hold you. It is like something that takes a lot of time and energy. It's something that takes a lot of, you know, learning and just going trial and error and doing a lot of reps. It does take a lot of time. So, the, and there are people out there, like there are people that have, you know, salary jobs or whatever that have an extra two or three hours a day. And they are really dedicated to getting out of that salary job because they absolutely freaking hate it. There's people out there like that. And they end up doing that. And they put, you know, two or three hours a day into their wholesaling business. And then all of a sudden over the course of six months, they start doing a deal or two a month. And then they're like, wait, I'm making like, 20 plus thousand dollars a month in my wholesaling business that exceeds what I'm making in my nine to five job. Why don't I trash my nine to five job, triple down on this. And then all of a sudden the floodgates open because wholesaling does give you, you know, a gateway to all these other different things. Like for me, like I was telling you, I built a wholesaling business and all of a sudden I have relationships with private lenders and I had relationships with all my attorneys that close up my deals I have relationships with contractors and fix and flippers and stuff that were buying my deals from me and all this stuff. You see what I mean? So it allowed me to like go out and build those relationships. And then once I was ready to start buying my own properties, that's when I just reached out to those people that I was doing business with already in the wholesaling business. And I started 
investing with them and doing deals with them in a different way than wholesaling. You see what I mean? That's what, like, when you do, that's a benefit of wholesaling, but it's not like a necessity. And I think a lot of people, especially people that are learning on YouTube, a lot of people get it forced down their throat that you have to start with wholesaling. Here's the deal. If you're like kind of brand new to the real estate world, a lot of people will just get on YouTube and start learning and they'll be like, and the teachers will teach you have to wholesale first and then you have to get into fix and flip and or development. And then you have to get into buy and hold with single families and multifamilies. And they're like, that's just the way that you have to do it. And I don't agree. It's like, you don't really have to do number one. If you have a killer job and you and money's not an issue for you and you have a killer lifestyle already, and all you're saying is, hey, I just want to build a portfolio. I just want to do some flips on the side to get going. And then all of a sudden in 10 years, I have a portfolio of like 50 units and my fix and flip crew that just works without me having to deal with it. You could do that without going out and wholesaling. Wholesaling is completely different, bro. All wholesaling is, is sales and marketing. It's marketing out to somebody saying, Hey, would I sell my prop? Would you sell your property? And then it's converting them on that and then selling a contract and it's rinse and repeat. It's actually has nothing to do with real estate at all. You could literally have no real estate experience or you could have no real estate knowledge and you could wholesale because all wholesaling is, is marketing and sales. If you're a freaking great marketer and you're a great salesperson, you can wholesale. If you had no idea about any numbers, any rehab costs or anything like that, you could wholesale. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Yeah. I get it. It's like, you ever seen the Wolf of Wall Street? Yeah. That's literally what wholesaling is. Obviously, like, you know, not at that big of a scale with like 200 people in the office. There are some wholesaling companies probably that have like 200 people in the office. That would take me to the grave. But it's like, all it is, bro, is just like having a sales process and going out and talking to people and getting them under contract. And it's the simplest thing. But it just, it's a hustle. Just like you see in Wolf of Wall Street, they're out hustling, bro. They're on the freaking floor banging lines of cocaine to get through their day. <laughs> like, it's the craziest thing. I'm not saying that's what we do in our wholesaling business, but like to show you that's all it is. It's just banging the phones and, and getting people under contract and then just dishing those contracts out. Do you see yourself wanting to, to do that? Or would you rather see yourself like, you know, buying properties and doing that type of thing? I've been buying properties and I have two properties right now that I have that I rent out at my primary house. I have three properties, but, uh, so I'm doing that now. Maybe not, you know, I don't have to 10 or 15, but yeah, I just got three right now. But if the wholesaling is bringing in, like you're saying, 20 K a month, you know, then I wouldn't mind doing that, you know, mm -hmm. on the side. So, yeah. I mean, would you want to go into wholesaling full time? I don't see myself leaving my current job now. I mean, dude, it's not going to, you know, say it's not a good side hustle because it definitely is, right? Like yeah. you can easily put two or three hours a day into your wholesaling business and make 20 grand a month if you do it the right way. But if you want to get to the point where you go scale yourself out of it and you're no longer working it anymore, working in it anymore, and you have a business that's producing, you know, 50 to 100K a month. It's going to be hard to do that without transitioning into it full time, because at some point, here's what wholesaling is really based off of, especially when you're going direct to seller. It's based off of your skill of talking to that seller and getting them under contract. And then you just build a process and a system around that skill and you teach your team how to do it. And then it's like a rinse and repeat type of thing. You see what I mean? But it takes you literally all the reps. Dude, I've talked to probably like. I'm going to say over like 10,000 sellers in my life.